It's Mo, I to the T to the Z, M O E, your number one ruler announcer in Star Wars collectibles. And welcome to Mo's Toy Room. Today is June the 15th, it is one day before Father's Day. And today we are coming up with, with a brand new episode I want to add in. It's going to be called What Was Hot But Never Forgotten. So, what I mean by that, and also I did one big score during the week. So I wanted to show you that at the end of the segment. But I'm going to start my segment off with figures that people went after. Now they're reason the convention figures and doing the whole thing with San Diego Comic Con and Sit Star Wars Celebration. And a lot of collectors that are collecting today that do box series and everything don't realize where a lot of this has started. This has been going on for a very long time. And through these segments, we're going to, we're going to get back to what was really really hot at the time uh and then all of a sudden now you can pick on ebay for for pennies and the dollar so um we're gonna start it off with the 1997 theater edition luke skywalker this figure here was given out to um on opening day of when the return of the jedi was re-released in 1997 um this is called the theater edition luke skywalker you can see it has the emblem here. And on the very bottom there, it has the actual date of when this was released. I believe this was given out to the first 20 people in line only per show for the 8 o'clock show uh, in the evening. Um, and I managed to grab one. Um, my wife ended up managing to grab one. So we had a couple of them. But the problem with this figure was... A lot of the glue would come off and the figure would actually come off the bubble. They may be so fast and so ran, but this is a timeless figure due to the fact that when this came out, folks, this was in 1997, this figure even hit as far as $175. People were willing to pay for this figure. And that's a lot of money for 1997, folks. You flip it over and it was the same exact back as the greenbacks. Um for the power of the force line and this figure was absolutely hot for its time it is called the theater edition luke skywalker it is a must have in any collection so if you don't have one go on to ebay today pick one up you could probably get one for anywhere from 15 dollars all the way up to 50 dollars depending on um the um quality of it i wouldn't recommend an afa version of it due to the fact that the glue is so um you might have to end up regluing it yourself in certain points due to the fact that it wasn't put on very well, folks. It pops right off. But that's enough for that one right there. So we're gonna we're gonna set that one aside and we're gonna go with this exclusive here. It was for the power, it was it was for the Force Awakens that a lot of people don't know even came out. It was um, for the movie The Force Awakens, it is an action figure set that actually opened up and you had a lot of troopers in there which was their 3.75 inch way ahead of its time and a lot of collectors couldn't get this due to the fact that it was short ran and they didn't produce very many of them and if you could see one on eBay you're probably gonna pay a small fortune for one but they are out there and I got to say, I absolutely love this package. It was my favorite package ever for the Force Awakens line. And it is a must-have in any collection if you collect a lot of the Force Awakens stuff and do not have it. Set this one aside. And also, I'm going to get down to this. The Toy Fair 2002 silver Darth Vader. The reason why you see another Darth Vader here is because this is also silver Darth Vader, but this one was not the Toy Fair one. So you can see the difference in resemblance. The reason I have this one in a star case is because this figure is in mint condition. I want nothing to happen to it. If you look closely, he has his red lightsaber sticking out. He's kind of got like a bluish purple tint to him on that Darth Vader versus the all painted silver one so don't grab this one thinking that you grab this one because this one is only maybe twenty dollars on ebay this one is you know minimum of a hundred bucks so um you might want to grab this one 
uh, stick it in your collection. When this figure came out, folks, the reason why I'm doing this episode is because when this figure came out, it was so hot and so hard to find and so sought after that I'm comparing it to the brand new San Diego Comic-Con 6-inch Boba Fett that's getting ready to come out for the 2019 um, San Diego Comic-Con that I even want one of those Boba Fett's because I'm a huge Boba Fett fan. So I even want one, but I'm comparing the 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 emotions and the hype of it and the thrill of having one, uh, which I believe nobody really has those now, the Boba Fett yet. But when you had this figure and you first got this figure, you knew that you were on a whole nother planet and you were like, wow, you felt important at that particular time. And also, let's put these two away. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put out the Star Wars Boba Fett. This is also a convention figure. When this figure came out in 2003, it was from Star Wars Celebration. Um, you had two versions of it. You had the American version. Let me hold this one on this hand. And then you had the one that hit Comic-Con in Mexico that was the Mexico version. So there was two versions of that. And the only way that you could tell, folks, is through, if you look in the top corner, can you zoom in there? Right there in the top corner, it will say, let me, let me just open these up real quick. For that way you can see it in person. So you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, now you can see. In the top, in the top left-hand corner, you can see right there, ages four and up on the American verse. It says it in Spanish on this one. And also, when you turn the figures over, on the very bottom, the Mexican one will have the sticker on the bottom there, verse the American one will not. So, um, you might want to. If you don't have these, you might want to put these in your collection because over time, anything Boba Fett, especially when you got the variant pieces like these two, skyrocket in price and you will be way ahead of the game if you don't got one. And right now, everybody's clamoring to get all the other new exclusives. So these, you can pick these up on eBay. I don't know so much about how uh, fast you could pick up one from Mexico, which is a lot more rarer than the um, American one. But I highly say... My highly opinion on this whole thing is if you don't have any of these two yet, they're must-haves for any collection, and they're dear to my heart, and I will never, ever part with these two here. Now, final, finally, I scored, folks. Went to Target yesterday, and these are no longer being ordered through Target. So these are this is a Target exclusive. It is from the Hans, It is from the solo movie, uh, well, the solo story, and it is a six-pack of all the troopers there. Uh, and these figures, this is probably one of my favorite box sets ever, um, because these figures talk. Let's see here. Solo reporting for duty. Weapons locked and loaded. Troopers, come in. Prepare to engage. Tie online. Awaiting orders. I've got enemy reinforcements on my radar. All right, you have it there, folks. Only a Target. Target stores are no longer ordering this because everybody knows that between Target and Walmart, they're starting to set up their stores for Triple Force Friday that's coming October the 4th, um, where they're going to have more Star Wars than they ever had. So they're trying to get rid of a lot of the older clearance product, a lot of the older products. The thing is, is this thing still is not on clearance. And when I picked this up, there was only one left there. I understand that the targets in the other cities that I've went to um, no longer have this. So if you get around the target and you see this baby, it markets for $44.99. Pick one up and put it in your collection um, because this is one of the nicest pieces that they have done. Um, 
not only as an exclusive, but for the solo movie period. Um, I like this piece a lot more even than the play sets that I have done that you can watch on my other videos that are in my playlist. Uh, you can look up, you could, you know, just stick to this channel and look up some of the uh, shows that I have done in the past. And you can watch me and my sons, Bill Kessel. We have also built Vander One and also the Chewbacca um, six inch black series that I have not done a show on yet that is a Target exclusive is also discontinued and no longer uh, being ordered through Target stores so when you see him pick him up because they're getting ready to move on folks and also um, with the Star Wars vintage retro collection uh, good luck finding finding those because you might be able to find one here and there but I understand that the Stormtrooper is the hard to find one due to the fact that they're army building with them. I don't know why they would want to do that and take them off of the um, card. But they come out on the original looking cards. And these things are really, really sharp, folks. Um, and they're just so hard to find. Um, you might want to get them on eBay, the Star Wars Retro Collection, to get them all in one shot. There are six of them and then you have the seventh version, seventh one. Of Grand Moff Tarkin that comes in the Escape from Death Star game. Um, but I don't mean to keep you watching my video too long, folks. But anyway, this is what I have for you today. I'm extremely excited to get this guy. But you're also going to need this, the Force Link, in order to get them to talk. Um, but it's Mo. I to the T to the Z M O E. Your number one Rudo announcer in Star Wars collectibles from... 1977 through now um welcome to mo's toy room and please slap a like on this video on your way out and also don't forget to leave a comment if you feel if you want to leave a comment and please feel free to subscribe or tell friends about this channel and get them to subscribe um and also you can reach me at mo's toys now on instagram it is m o e apostrophe s T-O-Y-S, it's Moe's Toys, it's M-O-E, apostrophe S, T-O-Y-S, and I'm starting to get a lot of subscribers on there um, due to the fact that I've been putting rare photos of some rare bootlegs and also a lot of prototype photos are coming on those, uh, stuff that you normally don't see on a daily basis that I own from my own personal collection, as you could tell. This is only a small piece of my collection, but I want to um, share my collection with a lot of you out there with stuff that you didn't know was out there. And ladies and gentlemen, it's June the 15th. And to all the fathers out there uh, who struggle to support their families every single day, I support you, my brothers, and me being a father. Happy Father's Day to you guys um, out there. And enjoy your day. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.